Hello, it's Sarah from Heart Over Hearts, and I'm here with a little bit of a different video today. I wanted to uh, to take a look at what's happening in 2021 in terms of books that are coming out that are interesting to me. And I'd love to hear if you know any books that are coming out specifically translated fiction, uh, historical fiction, uh, mystery uh, series, things like that that are coming out that you think that I would like based on my reading taste or that you're especially excited about. I'd love to hear that too. So I'm going to go through a list of books that have uh, excited me and I'm already kind of teed up for and a couple of these I've already pre-ordered because that's how excited I am for them. So let's get started. These are not in a specific order because what I did is I culled from a bunch of lists of, di of the different um, books to look out for. So these are for the first part of the year. I don't think I have anything that goes past May, I think, on this list. Uh, so keep that in mind. I'll do another one as we get a little closer to the summer. But I at least wanted to get these on your radar in case you weren't aware of them. Uh, so the first one, I absolutely love Kazu Ishiguro. I, I just think he's so smart and I love it. I love, I love an author that is willing to play with form, but does it at an, at an outstanding masterful level. And so I'm quite excited about Clara and the Sun. That's going to be released by Knopf in March. So my understanding, and if you don't know Ishiguru's work, uh, he did Never Let Me Go, uh, he did The Buried Giants, and the masterful Remains of the Day, which I think is just monumental. Uh, this is uh, a little bit of a, I don't even know, he, he really blends genres, so it doesn't, I, I don't even know how to, how to explain it, but what my understanding is that there is an AI, artificial intelligence form, like maybe a, a mannequin that is the narrator of this story. And this mannequin is in a store and is observing uh, humankind and, and learning as, as it's set in the store. So I'm expecting interesting things about capitalism, about um, artificial intelligence and learning and, and humanity. So we, we shall see what, what that's all about. Next up that I'm interested in will be Melissa Broder's Milk Fed, and this is going to be by Scribner in May. Now, Melissa Broder wrote The Pisces. Now, The Pisces was, you know, it was a wild ride. It's about this woman who's kind of going through some things, and she falls in love and has an affair, this torrid sexual affair with a merman. It was it was wild, quirky, weird. Uh, I you know I didn't love it, but I thought it was it was amusing. I was amused by it. Uh, this one it, is a, where the protagonist suffers an eating disorder uh, until she breaks off from her toxic mother. So uh, you know I, I I'm curious. I'm curious about it, and I think the cover looks really cheeky. So that, that should be fun. Next up that I'm excited about is My Year Abroad. This is by Chang Rei Li. Uh, this is going to be published by Riverhead, and it's about a New Jersey college student who travels to China, and it's supposed to be sprawling and picturesque and really interesting and, and how this college student's uh, expectations are subverted. And I think that sounds that when I'm so locked, locked in my one bedroom apartment, I'm excited to read about someone else traveling if I can't yet. The next one I'm really looking forward to is Secrets of Happiness by Joan Silver. So she wrote Improvement, which I found to be really, really interesting. I don't know that I completely understood it, but I thought the writing was interesting. I, I thought the structure was interesting. And so I'm curious about this. And in this one, there's a lawyer. Oh, this is uh, by Counterpoint Press. In this one, there's going to be a lawyer who discovers that their father had a secret family. Uh, so I always find secret families to be really curious. And I think this this last year is going to be offer some really interesting stories about second families where, you know, because of... of sheltering in place. People haven't been able to, to maintain routines that they've had if they've been leading double lives and secret lives. So uh, I'm really curious about this one. I don't know if it 
it, how much it, it, this was written during the pandemic or how much the pandemic plays into it. But just the idea itself is interesting to me. Uh, then Fiona mostly has Hot Stew coming out uh, by Al Gonquin. Now she wrote Elmet for, and that was part of the Booker vinyl shortlist. I thought Elmet was really good. There was a lot there. And that was, I think, what was her debut. So I'm looking forward to reading her second book. And this is a, it's set in London, in Soho, and it's about the building residents in this, in this one uh, apartment building. So that sounds interesting to me. I'm curious to see what she does because I think she does outsider points of view very well. So we'll see about that one. Then Rachel Cusk is coming out with a new book. It's called Second Place. And this is by Farrar, Strauss and Garreau. Uh, this is about the impact of male privilege on one woman. <sighs> I feel saturated by this topic, but I'm curious to see what she brings to it. You know, because Rachel Cuss is not one to hold back her perspective. So we'll see. And this is this is fiction, not nonfiction. Uh, this next one, I'm, I'm like pins and needles so excited for. This is Jumpa Lahiri's next, next work. It's called Whereabouts. Uh, it's going to be published by Knopf. And as she did with her last book, in other words, she's writing it in Italian and then going to be translating it out of Italian into English. She's so interesting. Uh, Interpreter of Maladies is one of the very few short story collections that I love. Uh, it's the richness and the lushness with which she writes and how she can um, just kind of spin a web around you and you feel transported into that place. Uh, this story is about a woman who wanders a city for a year. Uh, it's And I... I'm here for it. I'm, I'm just here for it. That'll be coming out in May. Next up, this sounds very interesting to me. This is The Recent East uh, by Thomas Grattan. Uh, and this is by a publisher that I'm not familiar with, MCD. It comes out in March, and it's about a New Jersey family that inherits a mansion in Germany. And in going to this mansion, they uncover things about uh, a family that I don't know if they really knew very much about. So sounds sounds great. Then we have an or something that hasn't has never been issued before. Uh, this is uh, Marguerite Duras. Uh, so she is a French writer. She's famous for the Lovers. Uh, this is translated by Kelsey L. Haskett. This is called the Impudent Ones. It's going to be released by New Press. And in this, this is really her debut and set the seeds for what became The Lover. So I'm curious, uh, and I'm sure uh, Celia, who I know is a huge Duras fan, will, will, might be interested in this one as well. This comes out in March. Uh, then something completely different. Uh, this is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. Uh, this comes out from Park Row, which is a published company I don't know very much about in March. Uh, but this is about 18, it's set in the 18th century about vengeful London poisoners uh, that are all women. <laughs> so sounds delicious, sounds lovely, and I look forward to that. This next one I'm so excited about that I actually pre-ordered it. This is How Beautiful We Were by Imbolo Mbuye. This is going to be by Random House, and it's set in the 1980s in Africa, an African town, made up African town, when oil is found and a foreign national, a foreign company, a, a United, I think it's U.S. company, uh, comes in for the oil and what that does to the town. Very interested in that. I, it should be fantastic. So that's my list. I would love to know, are you planning on reading any of these? And do you have, as I mentioned, other recommendations for me? And it doesn't only have to be set in the first part of the year. It could be uh, longer in the year as well, and I'll add it to my list. And like I said, I'll do this again later on. But uh, I'm really curious, what are you looking forward to? Because uh, I, I, I do think it's important to have a forward look uh, to kind of keep us all motivated and inspired. So that's it for me for now. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we are still in a global pandemic. Please, if you're out with other people, maintain safe social distance, wear a mask, wash your hands, and do not touch your face. 
Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.